Maintaining your lifestyle in retirement is the goal for most pre-retirees, but economic conditions have left a lot of Americans scratching their heads, trying to figure out how they're going to afford their current quality of life when those paychecks stop. We are very pleased to be joined by Michigan's retirement coach, Mike Douglas. Mike is the president of Life Plan Financial Design. It's a local area firm that focuses on preparing people for a successful retirement. Mike is also a popular podcast host. Mike, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So kind of a scary thought for people to be approaching a time when those paychecks stop. What do you need to do to, to reassure yourself and I guess all of your finances? Yeah, well, one of the biggest things is we, we retire to something, right? We always think about, well, I can't wait to not be working. I'm going to retire from my job. But what do you retire to? Are you going to travel? Is your goal a snowbird? What do you want to do? And we have dreams of that. Like there's a lot of January mornings we wake up and say, <laughs> one of these days I'm not going to have to do this. Right? And, and the goal is to retire to a dream. And whatever that is, it's about securing that. When you stop showing up to work, they stop giving you paychecks. So now that you've become in charge of your own income, you need a detailed strategy, something that goes through month by month, really for the next 35, 40 years, to make sure you have income, not just to pay the bills, but to do all those things you've been dreaming of doing. Yeah, absolutely. It, you know, and beyond that, you, you say 35, 40 years, we're all living longer. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so there's more things that we have to pay for. And then even, you know, think about health care costs and things like that. How do you prepare for that? Well, what we want to do is we want to look at the long term things and make short-term decisions. The, one of the biggest fears people come across is, if I do this today, does it mess up everything in the future? And so we want to have both a short-term view and a long-term view. The long-term view says, all right, how do I make sure that I've accounted for health care, inflation? What if long-term care becomes an issue? Uh, what if one of us dies young, which is always tough to talk about, and uh, widowship? Uh, when you deal with those things, to help inform your short-term decisions. But at the same time, we don't wanna just put off our joy for the future, we wanna live it out now. Once we're retired, that's the best day to do everything on your bucket list and knock out all your goals. And so we wanna be proactively pursuing the dream with a very good strategy for a long term. Yeah, and the key to that I think is really starting planning ASAP, right? I mean, long before you actually, you know, hang up your, your, your coat the last day of work. Yeah. So let's talk about when that should begin. Yeah, the planning should start right now, kind of no matter where you are. Uh, we have people who are retired and they're trying to just make it better. We have people who are close to retirement and they're scared of that day because it's murky and it's confusing and what happens when. And luckily we do that all the time so we can tell them what's going to happen and build it out. And there's some younger people who say, you know what, I'm 10 years, 15 years out from retirement, but I want to make sure I'm on the right path. And so it really just comes down to having those conversations to make sure that you're in the right place and having someone ask you the questions that you don't know to ask. Absolutely. And I think it boils down to that because it's, it's tough conversations that you don't necessarily want to have. Yeah. And there are questions that you have to have these answers to. Mm -hmm. And then things change as you age. So let's talk about how often you have to reevaluate your plan. Yeah, we need to get together quite a bit. I mean, think about how many things, how much has life changed in the last four, five, six, seven years, much less the last six months. You know, we're always, things, life's always changing, moving very fast. And as the world changes around us. We need to make sure that our plan is pivoting and changing to accommodate it. We don't want a set it and forget it plan that is subject to, one of the biggest things in life is to control what you can control and mitigate the rest of things. So I can't control uh, these elections. I can't control taxes. I can't control all the chaos that constantly is around us. I can just determine how much of an effect they have on my life and how quickly I respond. So when it comes to retirement planning, three to four times a year, if nothing else, at least once a year, we sit down and make sure, are we still on track? And, and that has to be a, a good relationship. I mean, you really have to have a rapport with the person you're working with three to four times a year. And this is important stuff we're talking about. Yeah, it's it's your life. It's your life savings. And again, it's, it's the result of years and years of work. A lot of times we look at accounts and say, oh, I got 500,000 or a million dollars, whatever the number is. How long did it take to earn that money? <laughs> it's five, seven, 10 years of your life you committed and then to let something out of your control rip it away. We just don't want to do that. So that's why we have to stay very close eye on it. But at the same time, if you're snowboarding, you shouldn't be checking your accounts. If you're golfing, you shouldn't be checking your accounts. You work with someone who does it for a living full time, not part time or whatever. You want someone who is married to your accounts so that way you can go do everything you've been dreaming of. Yeah, you don't want to be stressing about all that stuff on the golf course, mm -mm. right? All right, perfect. So if this sounds like you need a plan, 
ASAP, right? This is this is needed to start yesterday, um, and and you want to make sure that you are on track to maintain your lifestyle once you hit retirement. Mike has such a great offer right now for the first five callers that have saved five hundred thousand dollars or more. He is offering a complimentary retirement roadmap just for you. This is will make Mike and his team will sit down with you personally and provide you with a roadmap. They'll analyze where you are right now and talk about the best steps to get to a really successful retirement. This is a game plan to let you know where you need to be. That number to call is there on your screen, 616-253-6162. Again, that number is 616-253-6162.